There's a rumour about this hold, that werewolves roamed its forests. And what's the talking dogs? Are you holding up all right? Closer you are, easier I can respond to a threat. I need to be able to put my hands on you easily. I mean, uh, move you. Move you to safety, that is. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Did you see a dog out there? I don't know, really. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Seems the heavens are opening up. Yeah, I swear it's fucking deliberate. Oh, you don't like Valkyrie's kiting? Let's go there then. Fucking seriously. I see a single fucking hunter and I am gone. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside of town. Never met anyone that could find trouble so quickly, or so much of it. It's, uh, quite a unique talent. I mean, uh, that was, uh, a compliment. Maybe I keep it simple. Say, good morning. Ask, did you sleep well? Except that basic fucking manners and not flirting. <sighs> You are exactly what I was looking for! Yeah, I think you'll be just what I need. You see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. You're very funny. <laughs> My master's Clavicus Vile, Daedric Prince of Wishes. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? That is not a dog. That's a questionably domesticated hell beast. I do have a soft spot for dogs though. Hell beasts on the other hand, well, that's gone a bit far, isn't it? There's just no bloody end to us, is there? <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> Once again, that went very well. Hello? Who thought Look I heard at something? Her fangs on that bastard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Huh? 
Luck out, Time to end this little oh, no, game. Dead bodies always bring scavengers of the two. Whoa! Something. I've had enough of you! I can't. I'll make sure they regret it. You! Oh, dead! That's a nasty way to go. I don't like them. I'm going to enjoy killing you. <laughs> uh, Oblivion kills uh, you. Uh, are you. Are you feeling all right? You don't look well at all. Let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Ah, that insufferable pup! Forget it! Request denied! No deal! I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine... ...in the back end of... ...nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe. But no promises. There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached. No messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. One of Clavicus's little Jess, a wizard named Sebastian Lord, had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. What the fuck is that? Vile murdered his worshippers by using their own wishes against them. Pure evil, that is. 
Not surprising coming from a Deirdre. But what sort of a man murders his own daughter? That's just despicable. This deal is getting worse as we go. Hey, Barbus, I need to talk to you. We need to be prepared. What other tricks is your master planning? The axe isn't the only item dear old Clavicus has. Give him the rueful axe, and once we're reunited, the mask of Clavicus Vile will be yours. I take my oath to you very seriously. No matter what comes, I'll not leave you unprotected. Ah, you've got the axe! And my dog! Splendid! Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... Storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! I knew I could trust you. Yeah, Careful, yeah, there, dog gets master, master gets cosmic X. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, mutt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice Supreme Power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Mm. Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. I've got more interesting deals to make anyway. I'm glad that worked out. I have to admit I've grown fond of Barbus. <laughs> it's not every day you come across a small talking dog that gives you some good advice as well. <laughs> 